In our previous videos, we have prepared Revit model of a 10 stories building. In this video, we will estimate materials required in different elements of building. Link to download complete Revit model of 10 stories building is attached in the description below. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will estimate material required for raft. Go to insert tab then click on schedules. Now click on material takeoff button. Click on structural foundation. Press OK. Now we will select from available fields for our takeoff. Select family and type and double click on it. Now select material name. Select length width and foundation thickness. Select material volume and then press OK. Revit has created a material takeoff schedule. With the selected fields, we can see our 24 inch thick raft has cast in place concrete of 25,518 CFD. We will export this schedule to Excel. Go to File tab, then click on Export. Now click on Reports. Click on Schedule and save this text file. Now we will open Excel. Go to Data tab. Select external data from text file. Open text file we created earlier. After importing data, we will apply some formatting settings to our foundation takeoff schedule. Our foundation takeoff sheet is ready for use. Now we will create takeoff sheet for columns. Go to Views tab then click on Schedules. Click on Material Takeoff. Select Structural Columns and press OK. Now choose fields, family and type. Type mark, material volume, base level and press OK. Revit has created the complete takeoff schedule of column quantifying all the columns. Now we will sort the data. Click on Sorting Grouping in Properties panel. Click on Sort by drop down button. We will select type mark and unselect itemize every instance. Check to show grand totals. Now in formatting tab, we will select material volume. Change field formatting to calculate totals. If we want to view total volume stories wise, we will first sort data with base level field. Then we will sort data by type mark. We will add base level name as header to identify quantity at each story. Now if we want to view the total's quantity at each story level, we will edit field. Click on footer and then view calculate totals. Now our column quantity takeoff sheet is ready. Revit has calculated quantity at stories levels and also total quantity in the project. Now we will create takeoff schedule of beams. Go to views tab then click on schedules and then click on material takeoff. We will select structural framing category. Now in fields, we will select family and type. Then mark. Material volume. And then elevation at top. Now we will sort the takeoff sheet. Now click on sorting button. We will first sort the data by elevation at top. Then we will sort data by mark. Now we will check on grand totals. Check on footers and select totals only. Now we will go to formatting and then select material volume. And change it to calculate totals. Revit has created a very detailed material takeoff sheets for beams. Now similarly, we will calculate slab material quantities. Select floor in the categories. In the fields, we will select family and type. Elevation at top and material volume. Now we will sort the data. We will sort it by elevation at top. Then click on calculate totals. In formatting, change the material volume to calculate totals. Our slab material takeoff sheet is ready. Now we will export all the takeoff sheets to Excel, just like we did earlier. We have imported the foundation takeoff sheet, column takeoff sheet, beam takeoff sheet, and slab takeoff sheet. 
In Excel, we have created a summary of materials required. In different elements, we can create bill of quantities and engineer estimate using this data. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.